The Machi Lab is the most creative way of empowering women of all of the projects which the UN funds around the world. This is the one dearest to our heart. It's the one we're most proud of, and it's the one that we intend to take to the rest of the world so that they can learn from what you have achieved. The one critical way to survive in a changing environment is to make sure that you have the skills to survive in a changing environment. So we need to either continuously update our skills or acquire new skills to survive in this kind of an environment. We are twin research centers, Amachi Labs, Amrita Multimodal Applications and Computer Human Interactions Labs, and the Center for Women's Empowerment and Gender Equality. We are a multidisciplinary group of close to 100 people. We have engineers, artists, artisans, videographers, social scientists, field workers, volunteers, and exchange students from around the globe, and all working to understand India's complex social problems and together build solutions. With vocational skills training, there's a huge component that you have to do with your hands. So how do you teach something with your hands by using technology? We built our own haptic skill training simulator, the first in India. We call it the APTA, which is the linear haptic device. It simulates about 18 different tools in the construction trade. And from there, we started making a whole bunch of prototypes. Some are now being actively used in industry. Our engineers don't just sit in air-conditioned offices. They spend their time in the villages along with our end users to really understand their issues from a place of empathy and of connection. Our methodology is the CWIT methodology. It stands for Computerized Vocational Education and Training. It's a blended learning approach for vocational and life skills. Till date, we have developed over 15 vocational courses and 20 life skills courses. And we have used it to train rural women and children across 21 states of India. Alongside the technical courses, the second foundation conducts workshops on personal capacity building and social problem solving. These technical courses and life skill courses are woven together to create a unified platform for deeper and more integrated social and emotional learning. The Abhuda Maker Space is a community of makers, educators, students and teachers who come together with the aim of developing solutions for humanitarian applications. The Makerspace offers advanced prototyping tools that allow students to bring their ideas to life. What's unique about the community at the Makerspace is that we've come together with a single focus to design tools for learning and teaching through making. Game-based approaches to teaching and learning play an important role in opening up to critical lessons in life and in technical skills. Participants open up, they communicate and think critically about important topics in a safe environment. The games emphasize peer-to-peer -peer learning and infuse teaching with energy and spark innovative thinking. MOVE is a solar-powered classroom designed to carry vocational education to the doorstep of tribal villages in remote settlements. What was amazing was that we were able to take the training to 500 tribals in seven villages in the Idiki district in a span of a month. One would need more than a month to even try and set up a facility to train people. We will be converting the MOVE vans into mobile maker spaces in the near future. Our vision of gender equality is inspired by our Chancellor's words. Women and men are of equal value, like two wings of a bird. For without the two in perfect harmony, humanity cannot progress. We hold India's only UNESCO chair in the area of gender equality and women's empowerment. Our research goal is to further women's empowerment and gender equality as a community agenda in harmony with the environment towards a sustainable future.
While addressing problems in villages, we work with women to identify what vulnerabilities they have and co-design interventions with them. One of which we're really proud of is addressing the need for toilets. We taught women to build and maintain their own toilets, and after they mastered these skills, they mobilized the community towards ending open defecation. Some now earn a living by building toilets for others in the village. It's a win-win situation. It's a community-led total sanitation approach. Some of our women leaders were even honored by the President of India for their efforts towards ending open defecation. This was a huge achievement and a source of inspiration for all. We integrate life skills throughout our training programs. To us, it is as important if not more than vocational skills. These trainings strengthen the socio-democratic voice and economic empowerment of women. It expands the collective empowerment space of women. The Amachi Labs team traveled to Rwanda, Africa to pilot skill training programs using the computerized vocational education content in a blended learning approach. A total of 25 highly motivated students from diverse backgrounds were taught in a formal and in an informal setting. They participated in the motorcycle service repair course over a two-week period. The pilot was so successful that our partners in Rwanda can't wait for us to return and implement the new vocational courses. We have had a lot of firsts. We have trained India's first women plumbers. We have built the first haptic simulator in the country. We have had tribal women launch Kickstarter campaigns to fund their businesses. We were the first to focus in research for humanitarian robotics and skill development, and the first to use machine learning and big data to assess and map vulnerabilities of women in India and inform intervention design. And all this could not have happened were it not for the guidance, the vision, and the opportunity given by our Chancellor, Shri Mata Amritanandamayi Devi.